trip was just up the road to Ron and Jean Carter's. They had a gas well in their front yard. Shortly after the well was drilled, their water started bubbling and fizzing. Folks, that hits a little closer to home. Their water was fine before the oil and gas installation in their front yard was put in. And like Josh Fox says, and I believe him and I believe them, shortly after they did the installation, their water started fizzing. They're going to get to some other health problems there too. See, this I find to be more believable. When the film explicitly states and the people have direct clear evidence that it was fine before that installation came, after the installation came, there started to be problems. I find that believable. I find that credible. I don't know that it meets the legal standard for uh, being definite proximate cause. But there's going to be a couple places in this film where people kind of slough over that and where people attacked these individuals in these films, in this film and others for saying that, look, your property's had those problems for hundreds of years. You're just looking for a payout. You're just looking for a settlement. You've had that long before we put in the fracking installation. In this case, at least the film overtly stated that it started shortly after they did the installation. That's an important legal threshold that makes a big difference in terms of interpreting the evidence. Turned out to be natural gas. I told them that I wasn't happy, that our water was good before they started drilling, and when they got done, it was bad. We said, asked if we could prove that it was because of them. And my wife asked the guy if he could prove that it wasn't. He wouldn't. Folks, this one hurts. This one hurts. He just put his finger on the entire legal controversy, the burden of proof. The oil and gas company said, can you prove it was attributable to us? And he turned around and said, well, can you prove that it was not attributable to you? The burden's on him to prove that it is. And if only these people had used requestatest.com and mytapscore.com and had been using it consistently for a long time. If only. Well, let that be the lesson of the rest of us. Let's start using it now. If you feel you're being harmed or injured by some kind of toxic tort, the thing to do is get objective testing and evidence and have a nice, long, long historical um, listing of empirical data. And then the other thing I want to also note here is that, again, these people, Ron, I think this guy's name is Ron, and I forgot, Ron and Gene maybe, they're not paid professional actors. These are not people who got themselves up to look like this and act all miserable uh, as being for the purpose of being paid something. If nothing else, however much you may disagree with them, these people are sincere. They may be sincerely wrong, but they're sincere. Talk to her anymore. <laughs> we lived here 40 years and the water never had a problem with the water. And uh, they drilled. After they drilled, the water was bad. My next. Thanks for watching. Let me know any other topics you want me to discuss. This YouTube channel is to help you. This is for information. I want to hear from you and I want to know what things are on your mind.